What's up everyone, Phil here. Well, it's the time of resolutions, diets and gym routines. But what if you still fancy those naughty treats? Well, here's a melt in the middle bacon cheeseburger that's as healthy as can be. For this one, you'll need 400 grams of 5% beef mince, half a beef stock cube, an egg, half an onion, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of soy sauce, a large pinch of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, you don't need parsley, I have no idea why it's there, a large pinch of ground black pepper, I'm going to put bacon on top. Cheese, these two particular cheeses fulfill the Slimming World Healthy Extra A allotment and wholemeal cobs to hit the Healthy Extra B allotment. You can use different cheese and different cobs but check to make sure they're Healthy Extra A and B acceptable. First, put 400 grams of mince in a bowl. I like to separate it a bit. Then add the pepper, salt, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce half a stock cube I just made one stock cube and then only used half and no I don't have a jug hence the awesome Norwegian tankard crack the egg and then get stirring I stir it first then I get my hands dirty just to make sure it's fully combined Unwrap your cheese, I'm making one of each. Then just grab a quarter of the meat, flatten a little bit and then wrap around the cheese. You could probably make three slightly bigger burgers if you wanted. I really don't need to show you how to cut a cob, but never mind. Turn the hob to medium heat and add fry light. Then just add your ingredients. Now you can put onions directly into the beef with the other ingredients, but I found the bigger diced onion stopped it binding together so well. I'm just going to cook them separately. When everything's cooked to your liking, just build your burger. You don't have to cut it in half, but I wanted to show the melted cheese. This was the baby bell one, which does hold its shape quite well, despite being melted. And there you have it. I forgot to record the finished product, so you'll have to make do with the picture. I must have been hungry. These are so easy to make and can be free if you get your Healthy Extra A and Healthy Extra B allowance right. You can make them and then store them to cook later, or freeze the uncooked burger and defrost when ready. Great for those cold winter days. I'll catch you next time.